Hey guys, and welcome to Doing Things Dan's Way. So in my last video, I installed this Evo 970 Plus card in an adapter and put it in a PCIe 2 16X slot because the PCIe 3 slot is being taken up by a graphics card. This motherboard only has one 16X PCIe 3 slot available. This card is only running at PCIe 2 because I put it in a PCIe 2 slot. Now the N.2 that's on the motherboard, this runs at PCIe 3. The goal of this video is to see what happens when I benchmark this graphics card in the 3.0 slot and the 2.0 slot. And the same thing for this M.2 solid state drive. Does it work faster in the 3.0 slot or not? So the way we're gonna do this, we're gonna run Crystal Benchmark on this drive in the 2.0 slot and a 3.0 slot. We will run the Unibench Valley Benchmark on this 1050 Ti in both the 3.0 slot and the 2.0 slot. And the hypothesis is this graphics card running at full 100% utilization still cannot make use of the PCI 3.0 data rates and it will perform perfectly fine in the 2.0 slot, which will let us get away with sticking this M.2 card in the 3.0 slot and end up with a better overall performing machine. So let's get to those tests and those benchmarks and see what the results are. So what I've done is I've benchmarked the system before, meaning with the graphics card in the 3.0 slot and the solid state drive in the 2.0 slot. And here you can see the results from that. You can see our basic benchmark from the Unigen engine, and you can see also the value we got from Crystal Bench, and you can see how slow Crystal Bench is running. So my C drive, is looking at like 3,500 megabytes per second read rates. And you can see here that we're only getting about 1,600 with the, the one terabyte version of the same uh, Evo 970 plus. Uh, so those numbers should be the same. It's that PCI 2.0 bandwidth that's our bottleneck here. Okay, so now that we have the benchmark results, let's switch these two and run the test again. So I totally agree that this configuration looks really, really strange to have the graphics card feel like it's so far away from the CPU and to have this M.2 drive only taking up a small portion of the 16 lane uh, th yeah, PCIe 3.0 slot just feels very odd. But let's look at the data. So what we've done is we've moved the graphics card over and we've moved the solid state adapter card into the, what is the graphics slot. And having done that, now we can see that, holy cow, our data rate of our solid state drive is right where it would be if it was in the main slot on the motherboard. So now, okay, we have, uh, we have a total win. We have our solid state drive running right back at the 3,500, 3,600 uh, megabytes per second transfer rate that we would expect. So now let's take a look at the benchmark results that's finishing up now from the Unigen engine where we ended up. Because if the Unigen engine doesn't show a difference, here we have a win. Now opening task manager here, you can see that the GPU is running at full bore, 100% utilization on it. And so this is a situation that's not super common. So this is gonna put that PCI 2.0 versus 3.0, 100% to the test. Because if this graphics card at 100% cannot saturate and be bottlenecked by the PCI 2.0 interface, then there's no reason in the world to think that that interface is inferior for the sake of running this GTX 1050 Ti. Hey, and look at that. Our frames per second is 10.1, which is only a really small difference between the frames per second of uh, the same card in the 3.0 slot. So our score, our frames per second, everything on this looks really, really solid. Remember, this is with the graphics card running at 100% utilization. We're only barely slower in this FPS score. So I see no problem at all why we can't run the solid state drive in that 3.0 slot and run this graphics card in the 2.0 slot like we, like we have right now. Uh, so we won in both accounts. So I can say without a doubt, running this drive with this adapter and moving your graphics card over to the 2.0 slot, as crazy as that sounds, works really, really well. So try it out. There are links in the description below for both of these. You can hit, hit it up uh, as well as the first video of basically how to do the install of these in the first place. Uh, so you can hit that video as well. 
So I hope this was helpful, guys. Would love to see you guys subscribe down below for more content like this. And until next time, guys, be blessed.